and that is how we can hit some pretty good golf shots. All right, so position two of the golf swing, P2. Where do we want to create our points of tension and do we want to keep those in and truthfully, how tight should they be? And most of all, how do we practice them? Um, one of the coolest things that I ever got to see in my life is when I worked in Park City, Utah at Glen Wild Golf Club and Spa, I got to watch Mike Weir practice a lot. He's a Masters winner, a major champion, and he was one of the greatest ball strikers and straightest ball hitters I've ever seen in my life. So we remember back in the day, we used to wear shirts that were just about as long as this hoodie I'm wearing right here. And we'd always see players kind of tucking their shirts underneath their armpits. Why are they doing that? The reason they're doing that is to maintain their connection to P2 and probably even up to P3. Now, Mike Weir took it one step further. He would take two T's. He would put one, not completely in his armpit, but kind of a quarter of the way down and he would pinch that there. And then he would take his other one and put that in his trail arm and he would pinch that there. So now we have a goal when we're moving this golf club to here, I don't wanna see those tees drop. I'm even okay if you wanna start trying to hit golf balls like that. Shorter lengths of motion, not full ones, shorter lengths of motion. So it looks something like this. I'm right here, I'm connected, I can still feel my turn, keeping that connection in, and I'm hitting shots just going from here to here, and you can see that golf ball was really solid. That's going to help us out with contact if we can stay more connected using drills like that. Another drill that I've seen a lot of people use for this is a towel drill. Same exact premise. We wrap it underneath our trail arm, underneath our lead arm. And our goal is to maintain this connection without dropping the towel. If we drop the towel, our arm's separated. So again, I'm here underneath my lead arm and my trail arm, and I'm gonna practice hitting shots. P2, I can take it up even a little bit longer, and I'm just gonna work on turning, keeping this connection in. So I'm here, turn, Missed that one just a little bit, but again, it's a great way to practice this so that you can feel the proper points of tension from position one up into position two.